Hey everybody, I'm beyond this spectrum. <laughs> Excuse me, a lot of clearing out my chakras. <clears throat> Maybe you're going through that as well. Because we're, we're in this two energy, this union twos energy. This message that I have in front of me is, is so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Okay, so... We have the divine consciousness, right? Taking action, mirroring what we just want, you know, what we, our mission, okay? What we manifest in our destiny because we can do that. It raise, okay, one little step. There's so much information coming in. One little step forward changes the vibration in our energy field, individually, collectively. And that is the energy this is talking about right now. Because we have worlds within worlds, with, worlds within worlds. We're seeing, we're seeing more. We're at, we are at a new level of uh, the word awakening. I don't know what else to call it. Um, a new vibration, re adjusting to it. Um, in this Capricorn energy, which is kind of like pea soup. It has been. It feels a little better today, but the past few days it's been like trudge energy. What, you know, and, and it's, it's really like in your feely feels, removing, uh, because, okay, sorry, I'm just totally backing up what I'm saying here, for purification of truth, look at this, I can't make this up, into our abundant soul journey, our, it, it's helping us, when we tap in, to align, keep aligning right, keep, just to keep aligning to your higher self and yeah i'm italian i talk with my hands so if you start with the symbolism crap like no i'm just putting that out there that is i'm not saying symbols don't mean things but like come on just i just yeah it's just it's almost like becoming politically correct and incorrect it's, it's just too much anyway onward and upward mirroring the souls unions coming in Okay, what you're putting out there, you it is coming back to you. And some of you, and some of us star scenes are in this like almost waiting gate. I have mentioned that before. I don't know if I ever put it out there, but like, um, like chambers, switching chambers, almost to get to the next phase of our journey. Because it, that's a big, it's a big. These are new blueprints. New blueprints came out. Crystal Keys came out, my beautiful star seeds. Crystal Keys came out with these alignments into the ethers. I can't, wow, I can't make this up. Through the solar plexus, the harmonic flight has taken place into the sacral chakra, through the root chakra. Our chakras are being realigned. Trust what you're feeling. If your body's telling you no on something, listen. Just listen to your own vibration. Boundaries are important. It's really super important right now. Of other people's opinions do not define who we are. That's just their opinions. You know, opinions are like assholes. Everyone has one. No disrespect to anybody, but that's all they are, are opinions. Keep focusing on yourself so you can do the next right thing to help another that comes along that may be in the situation that you just came out of. That is being the light. That is truly being the light. But we have to clean our own house first, so to speak, before we are can effectively, in a beautiful way, touch another. Okay? Into this energy of truth, purification, sound. Our souls, affirmations are key, okay? Prayer is powerful, affirmations, it's all the same thing, just different labels. Prayer, meditation, sought through prayer, meditation, because that's where true bliss is, is within. This whole outside thing is like a boundary, that's why. There's gonna be some that are really gonna try to um, mess with your energy at this time because it's another level. And just be mindful of that, okay? Keep your frequencies at a high vibration to keep manifesting. Because that, you know, that's what we, we do. Think about it. If you're sitting there being all, it's this and that. And that's how your world is going to end up being like. Because that's how you see and think. 
to mindset as well as a soul seat. You're the driver. You're, you're, you know, it's the seat of the soul. I find this message beautiful. So then I asked about um, what crystals are being activated here in this crystal world. Because no matter how you slice it, it's a crystal world. There are pieces and parts here that activate. That's why everything is um, in a harmonic flight. And it is into the ethers. Even this place is going through its own change and ascension. Because the celestial teachers are here because it is a sacred journey. And it is. So I did. I asked about, um, and I loved it. Walk your truth, self-worth, strength, compassion came out. This is how my, my, my beautiful soul family helps me. Mother Earth, shadow self, okay? Be still during this transformation. Choices are key. Be careful of the choices you choose because it will affect your energy. Now, I'm not saying that you're not being careful, but like this 911 keeps coming out a lot. Nines and ones. Nines and ones keep coming out. So I take that, and, and actually it's so weird because I was watching something last night that showed about those numbers, and um, which breaks down to threes, which breaks down to threes and ones, which is four. Big changes all around our soul. Our soul affects here as well, even though other celestials affect it as well, you know what I mean? Depends on how much you're aware of, but you're going to start seeing things, especially from a really high vibrational, and I'm not putting saying this to put anybody down, like I, I, I'm connecting in with some seriously evolved souls, okay, that understand, at a way understand different level, that I, I get it, because you're, you're in this, <clears throat> you're in this energy. And not just one person, just you, you, you who, who are resonating with what I'm saying, okay? Because you, you, we are, there are warriors here. We are warriors. We truly are warriors. I'm going to explain something when I can, the way I see and I've been gifted to see. And it is a gift. It feels like a curse sometimes, I'm not going to lie. But it's a, it's a gift to be truly one with aligned with the frequency that the creator shows me what I'm supposed to see. And I do share it with you guys because you're resonating with it and you're supposed to. Anyway, um, I totally forgot what I was talking about. Crap. Anyway, um, oh, when I see certain souls, I can see that certain souls are connected with Archangel Michael. And yes, Archangels are real. They really are real. They don't look anything like they are depicted in this world. Okay, they they they, they can, but they 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 don't. Mm -mm. No, they don't. And I'm being told the Cyrus Star, crystal keys from the Cyrus Star, communicate and co-create. Communicate. Keep communicating with those who are in your frequency and higher frequency than you, okay? Because again, the Lord works through people. The Lord vibration works through people. And that's how the vibration gets high. Higher, okay? Learning more about the ferrament. Pay attention to that. See how that's the rainbows right here and the finger comes through the rainbow? Okay? For those of you who understand what I'm saying. Married souls, really unions are really coming in. And they are. <clears throat> they really are. Unions are happening. Some of you really came in with another. There's a, there's a group that it came, I mean, we all come in with each other. I, I don't want to botch what, I'm, what they're showing me. But there are certain souls that split off from each other, knowing that eventually they were going to unite. That's coming in. Because it is limitless, this integration. What's, what we're going through is an integration. And this, like I say, when I see souls, this is how I can see them. I can tell who is a warrior. I can really see that. 
And I have to be honest, I don't see it on a lot. Of, and that doesn't mean anything, but it does to me. But, like, you don't... But I, it's just how I see. And I'm shown from me and my protection. Archangel Michael. Keep reminding yourself that you are love. And that you are the light. And you are the divine spark. Okay? That there is no separation. Really hearing that loud and clear as I stare at this. To see through the masks. To see through the veil. That there is more. Okay? This, okay, our skies have been this color. They're showing me that. It's a type, okay, it's a type of communication. I'm going to show you these. I'm going to let you decipher this for you, okay? Only because of the where I'm at and I'm on this platform. The animal kingdom. Okay, the animal kingdom has been affected by fires and storms. They're showing me this right here. To integrate in here, to integrate into your personal power as well. And, and I love that they're showing me this because Lemuria, Atlantis, but I'm, um, through the fire, through all that song by Roberta Flack. Those of you who will listen to the song, there's a message in there for you. Okay, so. But it, I just saw a picture on the Cape Cod uh, Canal of whales going through. And that was so cool. And then being shown this. And then looking at um, images of like. Someone did this image of what they depicted Ezekiel's wheel with the, how the angels were perched look like they look like whale tails they flew you know so i don't know that's that's something that is something the ensuring codes for this integration celestials because it's all geometric i'm hearing because it is all geometric Activation Earth crystals are being activated here, hence volcanoes. That would be like a crystal, okay? To clear out the root, the root chakra, meaning, well, I mean, look around you in the world. Clear that out. Mother Earth, shadow self. There's, going, there's a stillness for this transformation, for this balance. There's going to be a stillness. Celestial teachers, let go. Let go. Walk your truth. Okay, so I asked about um, crystals being active, malachite, came out. Well, that didn't surprise me at all. Kambaba Jasper, which is a uh, very um, filtering. It's root. It's, it's Jasper is uh, more of a root chakra into your lower chakras, but it's really for, it helps clear and balance. And you can feel it when you hold them. Um, each, each crystal actually goes with your chakra because we're crystal as well. Tourmaline, black tourmaline, Totally filters out the negative, which I wasn't surprised that came out with the golden hero. That is two powerful um, connections together. With Peridot. Peridot has been coming out a lot the past few days. With, with Perpite, which makes me think of Prince. With the Shiva. Okay, let me take this one too. Okay. I'm going to read these, though, too. 14, Peridot, 5, Changes, Peridot. 
I do want it because I'm, you know, I'm still learning about crystals and that. How long have I been with them? I'm still always learning about, you know, because it's something's being activated here, obviously. Volcanoes are going off. You know, because of the return of the Messiah, the sun. 15. Golden Healer, I'll keep that one. I just thought that was super powerful that the Black Tourmaline and the Golden Healer came out together like that. It was like, whoa. Yeah, a huge cleansing and clearing. And Lapis Lazuli is here, right? So Lapis Lazuli is part of the, um, the Holy Grail. But Peridot, we're talking about Peridot right now. So I want, do want to read these. Peridot frees the mind from unwelcome. Un well, okay, that makes total sense. Unwelcome. Um, envious thoughts and night terrors. It is a transmutive and purifying. You are deeply emotional and may possessively cling to the past or beat yourself up over mistakes. But na but nature... Na Oh my God, by nature, jealous, have you, ha you have dark thoughts. Detoxify your emotions, learn to forgive and let go, follow your own life plan. Without judging yourself or being envious of others, you have the power to go through the fiery transmutation and emerge transformed. And transmutation came out right here. Or integration, same idea. Integration. Okay, earthly, um, solar plexus. Um, in the Sagittarius, Scorpio, Libra, Virgo, Leo, if you have this in your chart, you may go, you know, be going through that, journalize it, um, because we are in Capricorn energy, and that's dense energy that can keep you kind of stuck, and it can, so yes, forgiveness has been coming up a lot as well, um, as messages uh, for me personally, and for the collective, um, forgiveness is key. You know, if you're upset with someone, seriously, just pray for them. If you don't know how to pray for them, just say, okay, I'm praying for this person. I don't really know how to. And it's really that simple. It's not complicated. It's not all these rules and regulations. And No, it's really, it's really that simple because we come from love. And we have to keep returning back into that and turning back into that. And letting things roll off us that don't align. And that's been kind of a, a thing that I think feel a lot of us are coming out of into a higher adjustment stage into a higher frequency. That's why there's, you know, there's always something that's going to try to pick at you around you. That's why the golden healer stone is here. You know, that's a super powerful stone. We just had it too. 27, which is a nine to help with these changes. Into Nirvana that came out. That word made. These are cause. This is a cosmic crystal. Okay, where did it go? I just had it. <laughs> just give me a second. I apologize. Yeah, golden heels are uh, imbued with powerful transformative healings. A lot of transformation words here. Uh, in healing energies. They are a catalyst to profound spiritual activation. Understanding the quantum world. Helps you understand yourself. The everyday self is bounded by five senses, expanded by a sixth metaphysical. But this can be uh, transcended to move into a field that is non-local, everywhere and nowhere at once, where there is no time. You create the event being observed. Allow your soul rather than your ego to be your guide. You know, recognize your potential. Recognize that you are an amazing healer and your abilities need honing. And those who heal are a soul scored to develop empathy. That's why we go through such hard, crappy stuff so that we are, have empathy. So when another is going through it, we can actually help them and not hurt them, hopefully. You know, um, right now you're probably going through a lot of transformation, surrender to the process. Um, someone clinging to the past holds you back, encouraging to let go. You may be asked to transform your environment or take on a challenging task. Do so with grace and ease. Okay. And we have Jasper and Malachi. This is all going to make sense. And it all ties together because we are crystal.
attunes your personal biorhythms. Look at this. I told you it all connects. Blueprints, biorhythms. Look at this. Frequency. 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 Helps you tune in more. It tunes your personal biorhythms to the natural cycles of the planet. The crystal also facilitates deep clearing of your karmic body and ancestral line. Getting in touch with ancestors and understanding the process of creation helps you to recognize the value of recycling the past to create a more uh, potent future. Check out what has been passed down in ancestral line and utilize homeopathic healing. Okay. So, like, yes. Okay. So maybe a lot of you are doing herbal remedies now instead of traditional medication. You may be going through something as well like that. I'm not a doctor. I'm not anything like that. I'm just saying that's what this is suggesting. Okay. Nature. Naturopathy. I'm hearing that word. Naturopathy. Some of you may be taking herbal classes. Um, learning more how herbs work together. Um... Because it isn't all just about, you know, sage and, 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 and incense. It, it is about, you know, herbs. It, everything we, everything is here for us. That we can grow ourselves. It's amazing how this was really designed, if you will. Really, I find it to be amazing. And then we have 44, which I feel really seriously is connected to Prince. Because he keeps coming to me. This is a curse clearer, extremely effective for psychic and aura protection. Purpurite grounds high frequency energy, harmonizing the physical body to the new vibration. It helps you break away from self-destructive or self-limiting behavior, energizing the physical and mental bodies. It overcomes tiredness, apathy, and despondency. Old habits and patterns, including those inherited from ancestors. Big message here about ancestral lines right now with these messages coming through. Harmonic flight. Solar plexus. Frequency. Be open to new ways to heal. Protect yourself appropriately, but do not be overly defensive. Check out whether you have inadvertently offended anyone. If so, make reparation where possible. If not, send unconditional love and forgiveness without needing to know why or where. Send unforgiveness. Oh my God, I can't even speak right now. Send forgiveness without needing to know why or where. Send forgiveness without needing to know why or where. That is beautiful. And yes, if I offended anybody out there, I deeply apologize. That's never my intention. You know, it's not, never my intention. I can come off a little rough around the edges. I'm aware of that. I'm a work in progress, and I am my own karma thorns as well, just like everybody else. So, um, so I'm just going to put that out there because why not? Forgiveness. Forgiveness. I don't need to know the why of it or the where of it. And I've been asking a lot of why questions on my journey why and there's nothing wrong with that they're really amazing why questions <laughs> but anyway i'm gonna wrap this reading up this is beautiful we have unions coming in i'm gonna end it on that like the beautiful unions just soul unions soul divine soulmates coming in together to help to help with these blueprints, to help with the frequency of the overall collective. Because together, all together, we are actually the celestial teacher. Anyway, I'm beyond the spectrum. Stay in your high vibration, love and light. Just keep doing you. You know, you're on the right path. You're on the right, you know, for you. Um, I think the more we work on not judging and pointing fingers, the better this world can truly be accepting people for where they're at on their journey. Even if you don't agree with it, you know, anyway, I'm beyond the spectrum. Much love, everybody.